what's going on YouTube? We're going to take a look at an easy and awesome homemade pizza recipe, pizza dough recipe. We're going to go over the ingredients really quick. Uh, we're going to start out with two and a half cups of all-purpose flour. We're going to use rapid rise fast acting yeast, the key to this. Um, we are also going to do a half teaspoon of salt two tablespoons of sugar, dry ingredients first when we mix, then we're going to move and do warm water, not hot or cold, this helps the yeast, uh, canola oil is two tablespoons, so we're going to do the liquid uh, towards the end when we're done mixing, and we're going to go ahead and start. We're going to take the dry ingredients first like we said, we're going to use half the packet I'm going to go ahead and put the salt and the sugar. Now we want to mix this together a little bit, get it all infused. This is the key. And this, this is a key step to get all the ingredients and the yeast and the flour all mixed together. Now we'll start with the liquid, so two tablespoons of canola. Doesn't have to be exact. You don't have to worry about being too exact. Put two tablespoons around there. Slowly pour in the water. And then we'll start getting this worked together here. This is always a fun part when making pizza. flour on the there we are uh, another uh, key to this dough is not to knead it or work it too much so we'll show you that here in just one second and the flour keeps it from sticking of course to the uh, to the counter you can say it's nice gooey and gooey all right, so we'll knead it two or three, four times. Once it's stuck together. Once, once it's good and stuck together. You don't want to knead it too much. This lets the dough rise and get nice and fluffy. See, I'm not really kneading it. Mm -hmm. Just working it a little bit. Don't have to be too too rough with it. I put some flour in the bowl so it doesn't stick. And we put some flour in the bowl again, so when we put it back in, it's not going to stick to the bottom. And from here, we're going to let this dough sit for 45 to an hour, 45 minutes to an hour. And it will rise to the top, and we want to keep it in a warm, warmer spot, so nothing too cold. And then cover the top, and then the dough will rise. Okay, we'll see you again. All right, here we are. It's been 45 or an hour. It's been an hour for our dough. We've let it rest and we are gonna take it out and we're gonna start rolling it for our pizza. Get a zoom in on a little bit of that. Start taking it out. Don't worry about it, it's sticking a little bit. You can just grab the excess out of there. All right, so I'm just gonna start rolling it to the size that you would, you would like and put a little flour on your rolling pin. And like I said, the size and the shape doesn't too matter too much. You can always put it on your pan and shape it that way as well once you're done. Remember to flip it over halfway through at least so it doesn't start sticking to the counter. Alright, here 
shortly. We are going to bring over. Doesn't have to be. Yeah, and, uh, we're going to bring over. We're going to use a cast iron skillet for uh, for this part of it. And as you can see, we've uh, already greased it a little bit. You can take a paper towel and grease the sides so when it bubbles up when you're cooking it, it doesn't stick. And if you don't want to use cast iron, you can use one of these, you know, pizza pan circle ones. Now that's like personal size, or you can get a bigger one. And if you want, you can do two smaller pizzas, which is always good. Right, grease it in. Grease the sides a little bit. Now we're going to try and uh, oh, another trick is the cornmeal so it doesn't stick to the to the bottom. Put a little cornmeal at the bottom. It always gives it good texture too when you when you take it out. All right, we're just going to go ahead and throw this guy in here. The excess is always good because you can just uh, roll it over and put some cheese in it. Right now we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and put some garlic as well. Um, in a future video, we'll show we'll show how we make our garlic, which is really nice. Go ahead and look at the ingredients really quick: our mozzarella cheese, our spinach, tomatoes, onions, bell peppers. Uh, anything else in the fridge that you want. And here's our homemade garlic that we've made. We're going to put this on the sides. Just put it as much as you like. And push it into the dough a little bit. And then the excess dough will fold over. We're also going to add a little bit of mozzarella. and then fold over the edges. And you don't want to push it down too much. You want to keep it nice and light, fluffy. And then we're going to go ahead and just take our tomato sauce. So it doesn't get soft. And so the, the uh, Mozzarella at the bottom is so it doesn't get too soggy, which is always good. And don't put a lot of liquid in the middle. And another tip is don't put a lot of liquid in the middle, or else you know your slices aren't going to hold up too much. I'll start falling apart a little bit. And a nice other trick is you can put a little salt and pepper into your tomato sauce if you'd like, or oregano. Mm -hmm. and we're going to go ahead and just start building it. And put anything you like on it. This is going to be more of a uh, uh, vegetarian veggie pizza. You can put sausage or beef or anything they have in the fridge leftovers. It's going to be a pretty big one, big pizza. It's going to be great. That and all of this is very cheap. You know, stuff we've already had in the fridge. The dough is really, really cheap. Yeast and that's about it. We already have flour. All right, so here's the finished product. Zoom in a little bit. You can see our dough is really, really, really thick. It's going to be great. So we're going to throw this in at 400 for about 20 to 25 minutes. Or 30, depending. Depending on how thick your, your dough is, you know, maybe maybe 30 minutes. So uh, we will show you the finished product here shortly. Okay, here we are. It's been 25 minutes and the pizza is out of the oven. We're going to go ahead, while it's still hot and in the pan, we're going to go ahead and put some butter on the sides. Hear the sizzle. It's awesome. This butter. It's gonna be delicious. Look at that fact. Look how thick it is. Oh my goodness. That looks so good. Yeah. Let it rest. Okay. And we'll be right back. 
we're going to let it rest for maybe five, five-ish minutes, and we'll be back to take it out. Okay, we've let this cool a little bit. We've went ahead and put the spatula underneath the pizza. We're going to get it and turn it and flip it and have it slide right out. Perfect. All right, man, that thing is huge. It's almost like having cheese, cheese bread on the outside. Should I cut it? Yeah, and we're going to go ahead and cut it into what, however many slices you would like. Uh, another tip, of course, is to uh, start in the middle and work your way out to get rid of, or not to have the, uh, the toppings get messed up or anything. Oh, man. <gasps> that is awesome. Let's pick it up. There we go. Look at that. Let's see if I can get the crust a little bit. See if you can tear it apart. Want me to cut into the crust? Yeah. Oh, oh look melted at that. cheese. Gooey, gooey, oozy cheese. And some little garlic in there. This is our uh, recipe for homemade pizza. You know, very inexpensive, great, easy way. Uh, you can make multiple pizzas with the yeast. Um, Use a full packet? You, uh, we, you can use a full packet for your uh, pizzas. This is the result. We did say half packet, but full packet is, is this result. So it's great for uh, homemade pizzas whenever you'd like. Like I said, very inexpensive. Um, hopefully this helped everybody. Um, you can also put on uh, oregano, parmesan, and chili flakes, whatever you'd like uh, for your toppings. Um, barbecue sauce. Or barbecue sauce. Drizzle is always great. Uh, we're going to go ahead and end the video here. Um, we will have future videos, like I said, the garlic for the inside. We're going to do a video on that. And uh, we're going we're gonna to do many videos, so I hope to see you here. Uh, we're going we're gonna, to hope to have you share and like and comment uh, the video. Please